Oh yeah, that is loud. That music seems chill. Bring this down a little. Okay, it will go with that. So I'm going to unhide my screen. I'm going to get rid of the project zomboid numbers because that makes no sense in the context here. Um, we are going to turn on the game sound and stop our music. Uh, that seems like it's a little loud still. Just, just a smidge on the loud side. Of the art sound? Oh yeah, there has been some real gems. So, this is Haven Dock. Um, this isn't one of the ones I saw plugged in a lot of places uh, during the Base Builder Fest. Um, I don't think they had their demo ready at the beginning. I could be totally wrong on this. Um, but one of the other people I've seen play some pretty awesome games posted on Twitter and said, Hey, this game is really cool. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, I'll check that out. It still seems like it's a little outside. The music. go with that. I think I think if I turn down too much more, it's going to be a problem. But yeah, so this is Haven Dock. My understanding of Haven Dock is you're on this tiny little deserted island. And like most games in the deserted island, your only goal is to get off the island. This one's like, no, let's not get off the island. Let's make island home. Um, so that seems to be what's going on. When music is 3%, it's still too loud. Yep. That is most games because I have. So the problem is a lot of these games expect you to change like your local hardware volume, but as a streamer, I never want to do that. Never want to do that. I want to get my sound settings perfect, so I have my hardware set up to its maximum volume, and then I bring everything, you know, proportional to that. Um, so it's really annoying when you open up a brand new game and it's set to 100% volume, because like, ah, that's fine. I wanted uh, ruptured eardrums. All right, uh, make a little island into a biggest island, eat the small little islands. Yes, that's what we should do. Oh, they, that's interesting, they got your pronouns, cool. Ah, clothes, all right. They're solid, solid colors. Minus one point for having yellow and, uh, and red, but no orange. Music's still a little overwhelming, okay. All right, well, I'm going to adjust it on OBS. How's that? I lowered it by about 30% in OBS. Is that good? Cool. Oh, good. I remembered what I had said. All right, I think we're going to go with that. So we've got pretty straightforward character customization. Sure. There's some fun ones in here. Ah, yes. The nonplussed one. It was just like, okay. People redeeming the sound effects for Product Zomboid. Let's see, you got a mask for five minus five percent chance to get the plague a minus five percent chance of being blinded by some of the shades minus five percent for social anxiety if you put a bag on your head plus five percent glow in the dark if you put a cube on your head plus five percent hotness if you do the hearts i appreciate these non-real stats okay That's certainly interesting. Okay, we can have quirks. There's nothing unique about you. That hurts. Perfectionist, you like to make sure everything exactly how you like it. No room for mirror. The quirks have no gameplay effects. If they sound good, they sound like they do. Okay. 
So basically, these are just like flavor stuff. Sure, we'll go with Night Owl. Yeah, it's saying it doesn't actually do anything gameplay. You wake up in a daze on a small sand bed. You appear to be stranded in the middle of the ocean. You find some wood to build a makeshift deck using rocks as tools. Looks like you have to build more decks and expand. You have no recollection of how you got here, but you must find a way to survive. And pray others will find you. Alright, so that's Coconut Island over there with a big SOS on it. Okay. Um, but how do I get out of my box? Oh. Build a few decks. Build a pump. Okay. You wash up on the shore. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. Oh no. It's all happening again, chat. I I see the number of water getting bigger. I don't oh, I have to click on it. Okay. I wanna stop. Give me out the pump. Build a distillery. Turn seawater into water. Collect two water. It's it's very raft like. The difference being like we don't go anywhere. <laughs> Everything comes to us. Gonna grab the fish. Oh. Okay. So they still need to collect more water. All right, we can research agriculture not enough water let me guess you're gonna make me take the water to the workbench and research agriculture uh, research continues to run even when you leave the workbench cool i'm glad you did not make me stand up against the workbench yeah i got you fish Build a farm. Open the food tab. I build two birdhouses. Um, rotate the building. What bothers me in real life that I'm on a chain of islands surrounded by water, and yet we pump the water from Florida mainland. We should use desalination plants, or better, to process seawater into clean drink water. Yeah, there's like a bunch of different options you can use. But the point being, why are we hitting the aquifers up here? Um, wait. I... I can grow burgers? All right, chat. You know that I have to know. All right, well, I'm growing a burger right now.
Oh, I see. The birds give me seeds. I'm just concerned with the aquifer here in Florida that we're overdrawing the water, so what ends up happening is the salt water starts pushing into the aquifer, contaminating it. And that's what happens when you pull out too much of the water that's cleared that it doesn't get a chance to recover. That's been a problem. Pine. I assume that just gives me wood. Alright, so you gotta wait for that to grow. Build a pier. I don't know how to build a pier. Okay, that's fair. Um, and I have noticed with like the water pump, I can assign a settler to it. So it does seem like the automation is going to be as other people show up, you go, I need you to do this. There's chickens over there. And there's a fully fleshed out farm up there. Why am I growing my own stuff when I can make someone else grow it for me? Because like I know how to build a beard. Yes, you do. My burger hasn't finished growing yet. It's like a deck, but over water. Yep. Um, we can do fertilizer, which costs... Okay, I see. Different research has different material costs. Happiness. A dance floor. Oh, I need glass for that, apparently. I'm assuming that's glass. So you have traps. A trap to attempt to catch live birds. Alright. A bridge. I see, so I can't just build a platform endlessly that way I'm taking it. The storage box. That's concrete or what is? I'm trying to make this thing wide because it seems like all the stuff moves by this way. So if I make it really wide, I should be able to just grab stuff. It's like the same thing with raft, where instead of like making like a sound box raft, the more effective way of doing it is just like making like not just one towel wide, but like this really long raft. To catch anything going by. Okay, so you're gonna ask me to research charcoal, it looks like. Cool. Oh. Okay, so I've got charcoal.
Go with me and make a charcoal bear. Make sure I wasn't paying attention. You hurt me? Nope, can't get over it. See, I like how you're using Prime Zombie to get those numbers up before switching to games and stuff. Yeah, it's a very common strategy. And like, I've been very transparent about the fact that I'm doing that. Like, there's nothing wrong with doing it. It's just, you know. I don't want people to feel like I'm bait and switching them kind of thing. Like, no, I'm I'm letting you know exactly what I'm doing. Like, why I'm doing it and all that kind of stuff. Research cookhouses. I mean, this game seems like it'll get addictive to me. An incremental base builder with a twist on the RAF series. Yeah, we got our Venus Venus fix. We're good. Oh, yeah. Like, that's what I was thinking. It's like, it's also like, okay, there's been a number of people who wanted me to play more Project Zomboid. I'm like, well, no, I don't want to go, like, hard on Project Zomboid again. Um, I do wish when it came to this, so accessibility thing, there isn't a reason I'm not going to want to grab all of these seeds. So just give me all the seeds when I click on it. Like, there's, there's not a reason for me to click one at a time kind of thing. Ah, I have to input more seeds. Okay. So that's, I was like, why do I need these? If... Know that. I think, um, with particularly, you are good with sound aspects. Maybe a little high. Um. Okay. Music's rather, 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 I was thinking the same thing. I think I'm going to kill their music and turn on our own. And for the record, this is a demo version. This is a lot more stuff in the screen than I have before. Uh, okay, so we'll do this. Get our sound come on. Look at the PZ. Look at the PZ change up. Yep. The music is playing. It's taking a moment to warm up. Um. So with the with the sound, can I get like um a couple people to weigh in? Uh, game sounds so like this stuff. Uh, loud, good, or what have you. I'm only trying to get like some kind of consensus. Like if it's, if it's loud for one person, that's one person to fix it. Um, it's allowed for several people, then we adjust it. Oops. Do you need help? <laughs> let, let me give my wife a help request. There is, there is no way that doesn't end up getting clipped. Going to the stream <laughs> yeah, it would not surprise me at all if there's a clip happening of that one. I'm, I'm sorry, streamies people. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's called content. You're doing a good job. I'm a creator. <laughs> Collecting sounds should be an addictive part of the game, so turn it a bit louder so you can test to see it. Uh, collecting sounds. Uh, Collecting hot stuff should be louder. Hi, Donkey Duff. <laughs> yeah, I can't pull up the giant goldfish, apparently. Why not? I'm assuming I need a fishing pole or something. Hi, she wolf. <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, the volume good with the collecting things? Or is it, like... Penguin rats are being recognized for tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I just told them there's like a oh. thing you're being recognized as work for tomorrow. I didn't give them details. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Donkey Duff. <laughs> yep, I'm super famous. I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> but I am getting recognized tomorrow, which is going to pull him away from the streamies. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm getting food and such, so He's I'm like... He's getting food and alcohol. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm being given stuff, so like I'm cool with it. I didn't even have to do the what what was that? Something was really loud there. I think it's I found whatever those are. Ask your wife to stay on stream if you want more viewers. Thanks, Gonzo Galaxy. <laughs> mm -hmm. She pops in here. 
Um, and there's you probably noticed the uh, the channel meme thing going on where like people do like the tomb taps and like it's the character the it's it's the character where they do the taps and this is never a planned thing like I had just like the taps thing and then she did that behind me one time and people went nuts for it taps. and now she can't escape. No, nope, this is my life now. This is what I do. To to a point, we now actually have merch. I mean, there are worse things to be well known for, right? <laughs> yeah, like I've got a um. I've got a, a coffee cup that's We Tap for Tomb. That's me! Because <laughs> Tomb is her screen name. I'm Tomb! <laughs> um, I've, got a, I've got a hoodie, but they, uh, the one they sent me I wasn't happy with, so I... Yeah, it doesn't... I don't so know I was like, you need, you need to try again. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it's like double imaged. It's hard yeah. to see on the screen. <laughs> you can't see on the camera, but it's yeah. like, it, it has like a, a slightly overprinted itself. I'm like, that's not good enough. In person, it definitely... It looks blurry. So I pulled it from the store. It's like, you know, come back with me when it's when it's better. Which and, does have an interesting effect. It kind of makes it look like your eyes are going like. <laughs> yeah, but there's that in the shirt. The shirt I was very happy with, but um, I did go with the vendor. I'm like, yeah, this is not good enough. But to their credit, they're like, no problem. Like, we'll get it squared away. Um, but I have said, like, if anyone has any any problems, anything they get from the merchant store so far is like, you know. It's quality's not up to snuff. It's got double printing and all that. Um, like obviously, give the give the vendor a chance to like replace it. But if they don't, like let me know so I can raise Cain about it. But now they know that behind you there's actually a white wall. <laughs> there is. There is a wall behind me. Uh huh. Well, really more a crew than white, but. <laughs> that only matters for people who know what that color is. Eggshell. <laughs> I'm not one of those actually, <laughs> too, but. Oh, I need. That's true. You did see in the push up days. You saw my husband, my hubby, big, strong muscles. Big, strong yeah, muscles. For, those, for those new here, it used to be a thing that I had a channel redeem for. I don't remember. It wasn't that many points that you could force me to do. At first, it was five push ups, then it was ten. It was not many points. You were doing a lot of push ups. <laughs> well, I mean, the goal was to actually do the push ups. Yeah. <laughs> But um, the only reason we got rid of it is around the time that Twitch started like really bullying content creators, be like, "No, you're going to run mid rolls. Like, you're going to run mid rolls. <laughs> you will run mid rolls." Oh, they're like, "What if we made pre rolls awful?" <laughs> you're gonna run mid rolls. You're gonna like it. <laughs> um, so it just got very sensitive about how many interruptions there were on the channel between like every half hour 90 seconds of ads and then you know every i don't remember what the cooldown was was it 15 uh, minutes for the push-ups it wasn't very long i remember that <laughs> yeah it wasn't it wasn't very long i think it was 15 minutes for the push-ups so it's just one of these things where it'd be like the ad would hit and then like we'd get back and get about five minutes of games and then someone redeemed the push-ups and then you know the 15 minutes would go by and then do another round of push-ups and then the ad would hit and it was just like oh my god yeah. Like, people aren't getting, like, more than five, ten minutes of uninterrupted game. Yeah, I mean, people don't come on Twitch to watch people play games. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of different content on Twitch. There is a lot of different content on Twitch. Hmm. Alright, so I need to build a cooking thing. Cookhouse. Like cooking streams! How, how, much, how much of this do I need? I need wood. Cooking! What, what, what is that? Why is... Ah, what happened? Put fire. out fire. Oh no, Why I need to have water. water. Okay. Uh, I was not aware that lightning would strike my stuff and it would catch fire. Um, to now I know. That was scary. <laughs> Ooh, what kind of pump is your pump? Uh, this is a salt water pump. <laughs> my person is turning a wheel. <laughs> are turning a wheel <laughs> it caught fire in the rain i mean to be fair it did get struck by lightning and this is a pretty sad rain maybe maybe it's like um what's the thing it's called i can't remember it was like aristotle screw or socrates screw or a hippocrates screw something screw and it's basically a screw <laughs> and when you turn it, the water moves up the screw. <laughs> that would be a turning pump. <laughs> like one that you turn and... Yeah. 
Archimedes! Thank you. People it could also just be like little out. cups <laughs> that like you turn it just takes the cup and it lowers and raises it. <laughs> the cup pump. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it would work. It could be, yeah. We don't know what's inside that pipe. <laughs> Those people, Tom twice and Max. Thank you. You are right. Archimedes screw. Do you, do you like my burger <laughs> and farm? And KD2V0. Your what? My burger farm. Does that really grow burgers? I mean, it grows unspecified meat. But it's it's burgers. Cool. Yeah, I do like it. <laughs> that's that's how you grow burgers. That's how you grow burgers. I mean, I'm no joke. I'm pretty sure you grow soup off of a tree and like... Campbell, there's like Campbell's trees, you know, or <laughs> like what is it, like Hardy Feast or whatever trees, right? And they just it just grows on the tree in a can. You just pluck the can off the tree, and then the soup. <laughs> That's how you get soup. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with this logic. That's. Did you ever watch um, Return to Oz when you were a kid? Uh, I think so. So in Return to Oz, Dorothy's like walking through the forest, and there's this tree that has like lunch box. It has lunch boxes growing off of it, and she like picks off a lunch box, and there's like food in it. And I used to watch that as a kid, and I was just like, I'm pretty sure that's how soup happens. Is this what happens to your very <laughs> slider? I mean, it has to. I'm just impressed. We're making our first food in the game. Oh, it's sliders like a baby and burger. And we're not like just frying a fish or something. We're making teriyaki. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> so, what are you trying? What's the goal in this game? What are you trying to do? Uh, live on a little platform in the ocean. Just you? At the moment. I can barely get more people. I do not have more people. Can I move this thing? Uh, move. I'm appreciating that more and more games are allowing me to just move things without destroying and rebuilding them. Those fish are huge. Did you see those giant fish? Yeah. What? They look like goldfish. A giant. What were they? They're fish. <laughs> I don't think that's a real fish. <laughs> I mean, like, most games have sharks, uh -huh. but, like, you know, there's people who actually have, like, phobias of sharks. Right. So, I mean, instead of these made giant goldfish. I actually don't know. There's I'm... probably people who have phobias of goldfish, too. I mean, I don't know about you. If there's a goldfish that big, I might have a phobia of that I know. Kind of goldfish. I'd be like, that's not okay. <laughs> I was like, man, are you kidding? Do you know what that goldfish can do? Mm hmm. You're, that pink one's huge too. How small are you? <laughs> Maybe the animals aren't giant. Maybe you're just really small. You don't, you don't have to say it to my face. <laughs> Koi are big fish. You are correct, Maxu. <laughs> I want a pizza tree. Uh, researching here. So one time, Carl and I tried um, the peanut butter tree fruit. Do you mm -hmm. ever tell them about that? I have not. There's this tree, and it's called a peanut butter tree. And it grows these little like fruit on it. And supposedly, they taste like peanut butter. And I had the opportunity. Well, I know someone who um, is like, uh... they grow plants. <laughs> <laughs> um, botanist? Or, anyway, and uh, he acquired some of these peanut butter tree fruit for, for me. So anyway, I brought them home and we tried them and we were like, mm, I mean, it very vaguely sort of really watered down peanut butter maybe. Like if you took one little dab of peanut butter and put it in a glass full of water and swirled it around and took a sip, that's kind of what it tasted like. But we were both like, mm, like peanuts taste more like peanut butter than this does <laughs> yeah what, what what was the flavored water i make fun of oh Lacroix. Lacroix. <laughs> it's like it's like we're like a fruit flavor in Lacroix is for Lacroix. it's like someone whispered the name of the fruit in proximity of the bottle of water it's like that except for this fruit someone whispered peanut butter nearby <laughs> the fruit yep and that's like about as close as you get. Have you tried bananas like... that are supposedly taste like ice cream? I have not. No, and I want to so badly. There's also bananas that supposedly taste like strawberries, um, but I have not had the opportunity to try any of these magical bananas. I'd like to. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect to see another survivor. And here, I thought I'd be stuck taking my, uh, talking to my volleyball the rest of my life. 
I see you've done putting a wreckage of DC-370 to good use. Who are you? Call me out. I've been sailing for days, but always end up back at the crash site. Join me. It looks like there isn't a space on board. I'll wait here until you build a house. Is this supposed to be the guy from Castaway? I think it's just kind of making it. I, I can turn the camera once I'm not on the dial. Yeah. Um, if you're wondering how to build a house, perhaps the workshop has answers. I mean, that's not what the guy from Castaway looks like. <laughs> what What is his size relative to mine? <laughs> like, I look like a small child, and this dude looks like... You know, someone in their like late thirties, early forties, like burly lumberjack guy. Sizes are meaningless in and, this game. <laughs> and I tower oh over this man. I mean, my my wonderful ensemble of uh, single color texture, like I'm wearing some type of like pajamas. Looks like a onesie. <laughs> yeah, it's like a onesie pajamas. Yep. Which I'm not entirely sure how you get in. Uh, I can only assume through the neck, which. Is interesting. I don't know. There's no zipper or anything on. There's it. no zipper. There's no. There's no. no. Anything going on? This is like when I was watching um, Captain America and the Winter Soldier. No, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Sorry, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And I kept staring at the new Captain America's like cowl, I guess you call it. And I was like, that just doesn't seem physically possible. And then I watched the making of it and they were like, yeah, it's not physically possible. We CG'd out the wrinkles and we CG'd out the the ta the where it belt goes on. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> Knew that cowl wasn't possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, and we've also discovered the... Uh... The what you need to research a house. If you're ever wondering how to research a house, all you have to do is you need meat. That's it. You need you need meat to research how to build a house. Don't think that's right. <laughs> what? Don't you build your house out of meat? Mm. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> have you built a house yet? I know it looks like you might have a lot of walking space, but some living quarters would be nice. So, do you have a house? Yes. Awesome. I got a house. He just let his raft go. Couldn't you have, like, wouldn't a raft be useful in this situation? Probably. Uh, this survivor <laughs> one of the stats is he has PTSD, survivor of the wreckage incident referred to as DC-370. Keeps mumbling about the crash site. Probably delusional. Stand next to him now. Oh, you are way bigger than him. I am. <laughs> I am a giant among men. You do not understand, sir. No, no, sir, I'm talking to you. You look like a perfectly proportional, fairly burly man. You look like a perfectly... I am a giant. You and your 6'1", I am like 7'5". And I dress like this. He's also animated to look more realistic than you. And I wouldn't change a thing about how that is done, for the record. I think that is perfect in how silly it is. So did we lose Wilson? The penguin makes a strange noise. It looks aggressive and it might attack any time. Feed it a fish. You watch eagerly as a penguin gobbled down the fish, but nothing exciting happened after that. You want to feed another one? Sure. Okay. All right. Nothing else is happening. I'm not learning. Yep, we're doubling down. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. This is a good idea. The penguin tears the fish <laughs> apart. You did expect it to be this gruesome. It coughs up some sand. Feed it again. Sure. You try to feed it, but your pockets are empty. The penguin shakes its head. It looks really pissed. Um. So, were people asking if the penguin is nice? It does not seem like a nice penguin. Even after you fed it all that. Shit, penguin. Penguin toxic. <laughs> are you like just are you doing the work here? Oh. It said he's he's not mentally sound. Oh another person! I understand I need to build you in our house. Hang on, lady. Do, Two houses. Do I tower over you as well? I hope I do. <laughs> I'm craving a hot meal. 
I'll come aboard if you can cook a nice meal of teriyaki. I have some. Okay. I'm still nightmarishly tall, but because you don't look like a burly lumberjack, you're of like an unspecific age, it seems somewhat more reasonable. <laughs> like, that's the thing. I still tower over her like she's barely here. Mm -hmm. But that, that, that person could be easily depicting a small child or an adult or anything in between. I agree with Max. It's funny because, like, their head proportions are roughly human, and yours are like, nah. <laughs> Your character has a big head. <laughs> you don't have to say it to my face. It's wider than his waist. Again, you don't have to say it to my face. <laughs> why, why is there a heart here? A mattress? A sleeping rocks. You have test tubes in the middle of the ocean? Sure, why not? <laughs> I probably crafted them out of wood. <laughs> well, it's just like you and really. Ow. You have a weirdly large head. No, I oh, heard he it. He has a normal size I know dog. the truth now. It's a normal size head. You've been super nice to me about it, but you've been hiding it for all these years that I'm actually like super weirdly proportioned. I mean, not that they can see. There's a... I don't know if that's a little girl or a full-grown lady. I really... I'm really unsure at this point. There is a person over there. And then I think there's a person over there. Ooh, I actually don't really care for the blur weight out that far. So are you going to eventually build piers and get to those places? I built a tiny pier here. Mm -hmm. Probably. Nice. Um, oh, there's chickens all there. Build a rock for the settlers to sleep on. A rock? What? Can't you build on something nicer than a rock? Why aren't they sleeping in their houses? Because they're working. And they should never stop. This is in late stage capitalism. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> um. I have to turn my salt water into not salt water. You shouldn't drink salt water. But it's water. It's bad for you. <laughs> I mean, you can also drink antifreeze, but you shouldn't drink that either. <laughs> okay, I can drink antifreeze. Good to know. You can, yeah. <laughs> Physically capable of doing so. <laughs> yes, resting your body is being lazy. Don't ever stop working. I know, right? Yes. <laughs> your, your resting is hurting my bottom line. Tons, and what do you get? A little bit older and deeper in debt. You know that song? Yes. St. Peter, don't you call me, cause I can't go. Oh, my soul to company school. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. I've been stuck at sea for days. I thought I was dead. Can I please go board your summit? Yes. yes. Oh good, you didn't ask me for anything. It beats floating at sea. Truth! It does Again. beat floating at sea. Well, I can't really... That smile scared me. Uh, well, I can't really tell your age, man. You definitely don't seem like a small child, and I do tower over you. Hmm. It's my water, you can't have it. I need the water, it's mine. Oh, I had a whole Boy, bunch of water. Why are you salinating that water? You're just boiling it? I think it's supposed to be that I'm boiling it, I'm the vapor it. is collecting in these leaves, but and then, then it's nothing... going somewhere. I know, there's no cat. There's no catch basin. That doesn't work, Cubby. Don't I'll... question my science. Because you, you could boil your water in... in, in... Yeah, you'd, you'd make steam, and it would catch on those leaves, and then it would drip off to your deck, apparently, and then back down into the ocean. Are you kidding? This deck is completely waterproof. There's no way that water's leaking back down there. Mm. <laughs> and then all you'd be left with is a pot full of salt. <laughs> so, I mean, kudos. You, you made a salt maker. 
Okay, I need to research water tanks. Thanks. And for the record, this is the demo. Uh, so I don't know how far we're going to get. That's scuba diving, comfort homes, nets, water tank. Uh, I just needed teriyaki to be able to research water tanks. Sir, you're snoring. You're, oh, ma'am, I'm sorry. You're snoring way too loud. I don't think teriyaki is related to water tank. On the contrary, I'm pretty sure engineers need to eat. And therefore, to a certain point of view, mm -hmm. consuming teriyaki helps you research how to make water tanks. <laughs> From a certain point of view. Obi-Wan would be down with that. <laughs> Obi-Wan's like, ah, you too like to mislead your friends. It's one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> Whoa. Research scuba diving. That looks cool. Which requires wood. <laughs> I really appreciate how ridiculous important it is. What a hot day. Do you have any water? I'll come aboard if you have six water. Yes. Welcome aboard, very, very small man. <laughs> how many water do you have? Um, I personally have five more on my person. And then my people mm -hmm. uh wow idle. they all have static ones um yeah you're assigned to this this is your life now have fun um, that's not what your people look like i noticed that which really threw me off for a moment i was yeah. like what why, why are you unhappy the lumberjacks they're unhappy because they're stuck in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> You'll be unhappy? We're apparently going to just study religion. Cool. You gonna make one up? The ocean religion? The religion of work harder. <laughs> um... Okay, I was like, I wonder how that's going to work. Am I going to actually move around? Nope, you teleport right below it, and it makes crunchy noises, and then we just kind of, we kind of get sand, apparently. <laughs> not going to lie, that's not exactly how I expected that to work. Smell 10 glass in the smelter. <laughs> Work harder, not smarter. Your soul belongs to Joja. <laughs> good old Joja Mart. It's for the good of the small town. When, when like the big box store moves into like the middle of your town of like twenty people. You have to work at the big box store so you can buy stuff at the big, big box store using your discount at the big box store. So obviously it works out because you got a discount by working at the big box store. Obviously. <laughs> right? Something like that. Yeah. Uh, so apparently I turned sand and brick into, uh, or sorry, sand and charcoal into making brick. Okay. <laughs> what a hot day. I'll come board for water. Here's your water. Yay, more Hello, water. Hello, small man. Everyone's so small compared to you. <laughs> Are you sure you're human? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Maybe you're... I wonder why he gets a special image and no one else does. Uh, what? There's equipment and leveling in this game? Alright. His that, name's Dirk. That is Dirk. The funny thing is that in my area, Cuba is closer to us than Walmart. But what about the public? <laughs> Alright, I feel like I need to make more food places and also that these people actually should collect the food. Do I need to research a food storage unit? Comfort homes. It looks like a castle. 
Um, oh, I need 50 charcoal. That's a lot of charcoal. Yeah, I'm young. Why would you betray us in this manner? To inspire you. <laughs> Smelt? Oh, I see. Interesting. So whether I'm making brick or glass, it's charcoal and sand. Okay. I mean, glass, I could definitely see that. Yeah. All right. So I basically got a sparkly goldfish. You have so many houses. Yeah, I built a whole bunch of them. That way I didn't have to worry about them again for a while. The penguin looks makes a strange noise. It looks aggressive and might attack him. Give it one golden fish. The penguin gobbles the fish, burps a loud burp, and you watch in horror as it excretes a pile of poop on the ground right before your eyes. Pick up the poop. Somehow you made the decision to pick up nonchalantly and chuck it in your inventory. Your hands are black with filth, and the smell will take days to wash away. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Thanks, penguin. <laughs> You're the best penguin. I know what the others say about you, that you're like, you're violent and you're awful and all that, but you know what? You're okay in my book. Everybody poops. Does that concern winning or losing the penguin event? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you only have one golden fish? Yep. Can you, you can't feed it more golden fish? Well, on that note... I'm going to go play some Project Zombie myself. Gotcha. Have a good one. Puppy, can you not feed it more golden fish? I, I don't have another one. Oh. Right, I need another more of those silvery bar things. All right, so I can make nets. Put them along the back edge of the island. Can I walk on you? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's the way it works in like a lot of these style games. You can just walk on them. That doesn't. That doesn't do. Because otherwise, we're <laughs> gonna have to learn how to delete pieces of ground. I'm famished. Do you happen to have any food? Yes. Seems you don't have enough right now. I can wait here in the meantime. What did he need? He needs more cabbage. Ah. Or lettuce. I'm not exactly sure. Leafy green. I feel like I have to have some place to put that food is the problem. Can I give you a hug? Say yeah. Sure. Hug. 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 I mean, it doesn't actually give me the choice. It doesn't look like raw meat. Oh, you know what I need to do? I know how this works. Storage box. I need to put a storage box here somewhere. Put it in front of the door to the house. I appreciate your chaos. <laughs> I've actually broken quite a few of these demos when I got into that headspace. I still think my favorite was I am future, putting something we couldn't pass through at the bottom of the ladder and then like trying to climb up and down the ladder. And I was able to climb up the ladder fine. And then I went to climb down and it didn't go so well. We got very, very stuck <laughs> to the point I had to reload the game. Tip, water tank. Tip, shortcut keys. What does that mean? Where? Oh. No one wants that. Tip, water tank. What? I was making storage, that's right. Because I think the problem is, how, how much do you require? 50. You monsters. Your water tank looks like it's just being propped up by cinder blocks. I don't think that's what that's supposed to be, but that's what it looks like. <laughs> um, you might not be wrong. Sorry. How dare you? Yeah, how dare I yawn? Mm -hmm. There's a fish in your net. A fish. There's a fish? A giant fish. Cool. Um, right, and I was making a storage box. Yay! So, I Ooh. want you to store lettuce. Uh -huh. I want you to store 
meat. Meats. I want you to store wood, wood and charcoal. Now does all that stuff go in there? Yeah, so now they're starting to haul all that stuff there, because I think by doing that, now they will collect these and put them there. Um, this is very rafty with so ma many of the same mechanics like the nets of that. Oh, yeah. But then it's like the idea that I'm basically delegating half the work that gets super repetitive and awful. Wait, penguin? I like... Penguin? <laughs> you were expecting a settler on the raft, but instead a penguin <laughs> arrives, and it makes noises. As though asking something, but without a zoologist, you can't understand what it wants. You can rescue a zoologist after you build a boatyard. Translate. Despite your best efforts, you weren't able to understand the penguin. It shakes its head and begins to float away. No! On its little raft, and will come back later when you have a zoologist. Ah. Aww. Aww. I also don't think zoologists speak penguin. They do not. <laughs> well, was that attitude? I like that your people, when they take naps, just sleep on that rock. Yeah, I was like, wait, really? <laughs> we just we just take a cat nap on the rock. Mm -hmm. Alright, so it does seem like the um the leaves are kinda hard to come by. That is a big fish. Too big to catch. A settler is tiled. Go to uh, the rock. I think someone else was on the rock. Yeah. yeah, it's basically being like, yo, you need more rocks, man. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't have I don't have enough comfortable digs for you to sleep on. <laughs> Here you go. There's a second rock for you. Oh yeah. Rock. <laughs> Man, calm the snoring. Can you hear it? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's going. <laughs> it's like, oh come on, please. Whoa. You just plucked that fish right out of the ocean. With my laser beam sight or whatever it is, I don't know. Dang. That's more effective than the nets. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get the nets up and running because that's like your passive way of getting stuff. Mm -hmm. Why are we sleeping on the rocks? Wouldn't hammocks be more appropriate? No. <laughs> rocks. <laughs> Only I get a hammock. <laughs> and there's no sleeping place inside the homes I built. Nope. When, when the guy gave me the design for the home, did not include sleeping arrangements. No sleep for the wicked. It's, oh, it's too so far. far away. I do like that they show like the with raft you like throw your hook and you just kinda have to guess if it's in range. Okay. I mean this one's like if there's like green and then immediately changes color to be like, yo, you can't reach that. Yep, too far. Can't reach. Like, I know I can't reach it, but mm -hmm. maybe you'll get close enough. Yep. A person! But he's not a penguin. Oh my god, it's sexy for days. Please, can I come board yourself? Yes. I smell something nice from that cookhouse. Good, Very get to work. <laughs> is in the charity. Puppy. Here. Why don't you have a zoologist? There's just not many people into studying zoology. I want the penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have the penguin? <laughs> I did not expect it to work that way, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> like, he just immediately runs up and starts, like, slurping, like, you know what? Makes sense, but also got me a little off guard there. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we need another storage thing so we can start putting food and such in there. Yeah. So. Uh, teriyaki. Teriyaki. Fish. Fish. Um, let's see what else we should put in here. Leaf. Leaf. <laughs> Is there anything else here that we can currently make? Other kind of fish? Sand. Cool. I saw a fish once. It's terrifying. True story. <laughs> I actually wanted to put the fish in here and not eat the raw fish, but I mean, here we are. Ew. Did you do that? <laughs> because I don't know how the inputs work. That's gross. <laughs> I 
All right. Um, so I can research religion. Excellent. I wonder if that'll like make your people happier or work better or something. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize I had to have someone sitting here managing it. Um, congratulations, you have a job. Wait a second, but I, I assigned you. Oh, I accidentally unassigned the person who's working this job. My, what do you have? Works faster with smelters, refineries, and forge. Congratulations, do this. That is a smelter. That's your job now. Yay. I'm trying desperately to reach the side of the earth. Yep. Yay, another person. Another worker. <laughs> yes, work for me. <laughs> work for me. Yeah. You're gonna grow. One of each. Basically, I'm just trying to increase the output. Yay, we know how to religion. Yay! Religion! Do something with it. Oh, I'm not going to be able to make that anytime soon. Okay, we'll get there eventually. Those are some really big borders. I know, right? They're just the right size. Always been my one true love because it's just the right size. Remember what movie that's from? No. <laughs> from Robin Hood and Nights. <laughs> ah, yeah. I was like, I know I've heard that line, and I know it was like not cringe, but like it's like, you know, the kind of shows like they're like, oh, it's just they're a weird show. They're literally talking about a key, but figuratively, they are not talking about a key. <laughs> That's medicine, that's biscuits, fried chicken, sushi, just cooking, yeah, cooking oil. Yep, keep trying to make teriyaki. Works for me. Mm. Okay, so we gotta make stuff to make people happier soon. I'm also trying to get, apparently you grab like the metal bars from... Just the debris that goes by. Hoping to get a little bit more of that. That penguin looks angry all the time. Oh, that, that penguin is the embodiment of rage. <laughs> I had to stand while I ate. Well, la-dee-da. Whoa, that's big. Do you even have the space for that thing? I wasn't even looking at it. I was busy paying attention to stuff down here. Talk to that person. Yeah, water. Dirty liar. <laughs> Give me time. Look, man. I wasn't keeping close track of how much water I had in my person. Oh, yeah. I was struck by lightning. I saw it. Man, that dude was harsh. I was like, I got like six bars. Like, that's not ten. Dirty liar. <laughs> So can I get a scuba dive? Do I get the scuba dive? Uh, I mean, if you want a scuba dive, I am happy to give you that assignment. Hey, <laughs> whoever's on this. Bartender. All right, well, you don't get to scuba dive because like you don't have anything special. I thought when you said that. Oh, hey, let me take a settler and go. Your house is on fire. Oh, seawater. I was like, what's that green stuff it's telling you to put it out with? Are all your houses going to catch on fire? Mm. Fortunate. I love how my people are doing nothing about this. Maybe you shouldn't have built them all in a row like that. <laughs> Look, I'll do what I want. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> they know what they were signing up for. They don't actually know what they're signing up for. No. <laughs> Need to make your platform bigger. Need more a lot of things. 
How do I have no wood? You used it all. Oh, you know what? They're using a hit, taking it here, making the charcoal. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how they have more charcoal than I could carry, but we'll just pretend that's not weird. Um. Yeah, so they're making bunches and bunches of charcoal is what's happening here. They make bacon? Bacon. I need I need the meat to make bacon. Or bacon. <laughs> what I also need is fifty wood because of fifty wood I can make a large storage chest so I can have like more item types that we can store. What's that golden fish? Oh, the golden fish! Yay! Penguin gobbles the fish, burps loud, uh, burps oh, a loud burp, so and you watch it in the horror as it executes a pile of poop uh, on the ground right before your eyes. Laugh. There is no way you would pick up the poop. You laugh it off and gain five happiness. <laughs> Yay. A, a, from earlier, a pile of very disgusting goo from something we might see at a zoo. It's sticky enough to be used as glue, and touching it could give you a bad flu. But we have to make do because someone didn't think through and all we have is this residue. I see that that was supposed to be a poem that rhymed yep, that and was, I butchered it. That was true poetry right there. <laughs> about poo. I'm craving a hot meal. Yep. I wonder if there's food here. I just fed you. I mean, you wouldn't have come on board if there weren't food. You literally said that. Again, I don't actually want to eat these. I, I would like to put that in here. Nope. Nope, still eating it. Alright. Ew. It made you more thirsty. <laughs> it's spraying all over your face. <laughs> uh -huh. You're like, I know how to drink. <laughs> It's a weird game. I'm liking it. Yeah, it's funny. It's amusing. I like when the one guy called you a dirty liar. Yeah. When I didn't have quite enough water, it's like dirty liar. I'm like, man, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, that was funny. I, I didn't. I didn't keep careful count. My apologies, sir. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't trying to deceive. I did, but it wasn't intentional. Mm-hmm. Yay, leave. More leaves. I also like the incredibly aggressive and hostile penguin. Me too. <laughs> I was expecting it to be all adorable. I was like, no. <laughs> I know only hostility and rage. <laughs> that penguin's great. <laughs> Build a dance floor. Ooh. I'll probably make your people happier. And they need happiness. Right? They do nothing. <laughs> oh, look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the go! Wait, why are they working? Why'd they all come to the dance floor? I want... I want in on this. <laughs> why can't I partake? Aww. Too sad. <laughs> that one gets just like, nope, this is where I go! <laughs> Smelt steel from the smelter. Tip, collect. Tip collects smelt to work faster. Work. Okay, hubby. I'm gonna go back to the other room, okay? Unacceptable. Okay. How dare you abandon me in my moment of need? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll switch that up to make a brick. Um, I don't know. Ah, uh, iron ore. So I'm going to need more of these, what's going to boil down to. I'm going to need multiple people working multiple of them. A sea settlement? No way. I'm a sailor. I can build boats. Um, I have some scraps. If you let me on board, I can use my scraps to construct a boat yard. Let's build boats. Boy, I need some of the water from the distillery. 
I basically announce my needs to anyone who will listen. I am a lonely man. And I say that out loud, I'm always saying these things out loud. It's part of why I'm a lonely man. Like at first people are like, oh, that's so endearing the way you say it out loud. And they're like, would you shut the... And then they say a bunch of stuff I do not want to say in front of the children. What? Okay, so I need seeds. Seed. There. Okay. Isn't there a goldfish? Yay! Where are you, goldfish? Okay. Thank you. I like that I gain happiness by not collecting the poop. Somebody made the decision to scoop it up nonchalantly. Disgusting. So, basically we're going to use poop as glue is what I'm gathering, and the penguin that's full of purest and unbridled rage is our only source of that. Uh, how you doing, buddy? You, uh, you collapsed from exhaustion? Good. Oh. Oh, okay. So I need a second smelter. Oh my god, all the snoring. Um, let's make a second scuba diving place. We've got one getting sand, one getting stone. We've got those two doing their thing. Let's make another smelter. So I've got glass, brick, and that. Assign you to this. Um, I'll need another scuba dive place. I don't get why I don't get to dance on the floor. Why don't I get to dance on the floor? Alright, so let's do... Where are you at? Where are you at, Brick? You're hiding here somewhere. Go put the steel here. Go put the glass here. Put the brick here. And then I'll need another storage. We need to rearrange all this stuff once we can expand a little bit more. Oh, hi, person at the at the place, person, lady. Sir, lady, I'm craving meal. I happen to have a bunch. I'm having this concern that we aren't getting water fast enough. You can just give me a little bit more metal, I'd be able to reach that island. Uh, what else can we research? With steel pans, meals no longer need water to cook. Housing is better. Increases the range of the lighthouse. Perhaps it will let us attract um, varieties of trade boats. Well, I don't have the lighthouse yet. Certainly makes farms grow faster. Pine trees give extra wood. A water catchment system allows rainwater to water your farms at 2.5 times effectively. Um, this is a one-time cost as is a permanent upgrade to all farms. Ooh. All of these things sound really good and that I like I want them. Unlocks the bar. 
All right, so let's start grilling fish because I keep accidentally eating them raw. So, you know, let's not do that. Okay. Right, let's build another storage. Where am I going to put you? Okay, what still needs a storage place? Um, is there anything else we're producing that I don't have storage for? So, I've got sand. I've got the fish. I don't have a box for the ore. So we'll get the ore here. That's not the ore, that's raw minerals. Um... I guess put the cook stuff here. Teriyaki there. Um, what else do we even have that we can potentially have to worry about? At the moment, I think I've got everything I'm producing here. I think everything we're producing I've got set. So I got an open spot I can add something to it later. There we go, that should finally give me what I need to attach the next place. Meanwhile, people are getting all tired tire and cranky. Can I, like, can I like rotate you or something? No. When they're tired, they straight up look like they're actively dying. And flames ever since the crash. Oh, uh, do you have any herbs? I... Okay. Like, do you have any herbs? No. Well, later. I'm out. <coughs> Zan is already happy and does not need a gift. Iceberg? Oh, boo. I do like another platform just inches away over there. Oh, good. Um, bridge. So I can do four tiles that one. Two tiles gets me just a bit more space. Upgrade to unlock. Uh, smell the smell of alcohol, alcohol makes um, settlers regain gain rest faster. Um, adds props to the bench like a mini treehouse. Settlers are already used to the rock, but the additional props make it look deceptively comfortable. I'm uh I'm speeding up the rate at which they sleep by just putting random crap that looks nice on their rock. Ooh, plus 40 wood, okay. I see, but it also gives additional sleeping spots. So I really need to do that. Settlers are hungry. Look, man. One crisis at a time. Did you want you want a cooked cabbage is the issue. I do wish you'd let me kill more one. 
Are they hungry? There's plenty of food. I think what's happening is it's not being prepared into a finished product. So what am I missing to reliably make the teriyaki? It's fish. I see. I can fix this pretty easy. Um, so crafting. Scuba. Fish. And... Oh, here. We have one that's not assigned. Doesn't have any traits. Cool. So that should give us fish, which will get put in the box, which will get made over here into teriyaki. Um, we have the water and the charcoal and all that are being dealt with. It's like, we're getting plenty of the cabbage and all that, or lettuce or whatever it is. I don't really care. Um, the only thing I find annoying about this is I wish I could queue up more stuff. Like, I'm supposed to make a bunch of the, uh, the cooked fish. You know, get out of here. But I wish I could make the cooked fish, but I can only put one at a time. So that's one, one, like, a lot of them I could queue up many, but that's just not one of them. I'm so hungry I could eat a seagull. I'm so hungry I could eat a seagull. There you go, buddy. Oh, right. I'm standing on, a, like, a really big pile of food. Maybe I'm the problem here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Stop it. Okay, so there's teriyaki here. So the problem is I haven't figured out how to... Oh, here we go. Ah, I see that I wasn't miserable enough with an injury. Thank you, Rain. The dialogue. Oh, I already have teriyaki in one place. Okay, um, reset you. I had to stand and eat. Oh my god, it's RimWorld all over again. Oh, that's cooked meat. Um, raw meat. That's her not picking up the burgers. Okay. So I just need to get my storage sort out. Oh, good. Eats at that table. I know. I don't know that uh, thing. So I'm trying desperately to upgrade any of these things. Don't worry, girl, I have no idea who you are. I'm slowly building towards you. A healthy chicken is stranded with a peacock arrives. Where did they come from? They look well fed and are on the plump side. Grab them. Who do you want to grab first? Grab the peacock. The peacock was too agile, it flapped its wing, and the raft began to float away. Sad. 
I didn't have the other things I wanted, so. I'm in serious need of painkillers. Oh, what is even the air? Okay, I need to research the boatyard. Um... Okay, so we should have seeds here somewhere. Okay, so I see I need more burbs. Um soon we end up moving some of this stuff. You know what actually? Make this island over here like the residential area since the houses don't seem to have anything to actually do. Okay. Upgrade the brick. I think we go twice as fast. Okay, so a whole bunch of these you can upgrade in various ways. But not the dance floor. I'm just upgrading everything I can now. Yeah, so you need to make more of the uh, little chicken coop things. And I need more wood and I need more everything. If you research flight, I have some supplies to spare. We might have a chance to get an ancient technology up and running again. Who knows what it does? We could leave here. Or we could even find the origin. Check supplies. You have not researched flight yet. Oh, that, that dude. Come on, lady. We are going to slowly move these over to that little island over there, I think. Give ourselves some more room. I'm craving a hot meal. We'll grab some teriyaki. I need to figure out how to make medicine as well. I know I saw it earlier, but I don't remember what it was. Oh. Well, that's good. I don't have any teriyaki left. They ate it all. There's gotta be a way to make it repeat stuff like this. Like, I'm getting all the meat and all that, but I'm having to manually do it, and I can't assign people to it. Um, alright, so I need more of those seeds, need more bars, I need more oh, charcoal. My leg is done for. Okay, 
So you're injured. Is the best way to establish a workplace dominus is to go to the bathroom at the same time as your boss and maintain eye contact while unleashing a giant... Hmm. That's certainly a thing. All right. I'm trying to move everything because I need more of the birds. I think it's more dominant if you did it as a desk. While while they're present, of course. You wouldn't you wouldn't want them to mistake the intention. I also do not recommend or or condone such things. If you take the suggestion, you didn't get it here. I'm in serious need of painkillers. Enter. All right. I mean, I guess it's a house. You can't really make a strong impression of a client that way. Yes, you can. I am. I am very confident that I'd make a very strong impression on a client. I'm willing to bet it would be something they would tell others about. The problem I have is I've got people getting injured and I haven't figured out where, where do I make the thing that makes you better? Medicine. Okay, that requires herbs. Where do I get herbs from? Alright, so food. More burb. Any publicity is good publicity. All right, so let's grab one of these. Let's say I'm trying to move the houses off out of the way, like make this the main production area. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Where do I get herbs from, though? My my immediate assumption is that we would grow herbs, that they would um we would get them from this. But I haven't seen the option to do so. They're definitely not grown on there. Oh it did reset it. Um Your meat, your lettuce, your tree. Cool. That bird gets a fancy place. They've got two people with injuries who don't. Shh. It's okay. Probably not okay, like I'm really I'm really just reassuring you for no reason. But since I can't do anything about it, 
We're gonna go away. Sir, go away. If you're gonna suffer in pain, I need to do it in the corner where you're not going to impact others' work. Okay? So let's grab another one of these houses and drag it over. We should be getting enough seeds with as much of that as I did to keep things moving. So I'm trying to make room. Um, it does seem like I need to expand in a bunch of my operations, but the big thing I need to do is I need to figure out where I can get um, herbs from. If we can get herbs, then that'll, that'll help us out. We should also try and get the materials to upgrade the houses so we get more of them. Alright. I want to make sure I grab that. Um, so let's go to research bench and see what research we can get going. Yeah, so this gives us more housing. I need way more charcoal to do that. We can... Do the water conservation. More wood. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. Alright. I'm not actually going to change anything. But, like, you can pretend there's no problem. Just you and me. Seems like I need even more farms. Oh, can somebody get me some medicine, please? Repair the lighthouse. You turn the lighthouse on and light pierces the sky. In a small distance, a small boat steers itself towards your lighthouse. Them herbs have not been unlocked by research yet. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing as well. I just didn't see how to get to it. Talk to the steel trader. Hey, nice salmon. But, uh, I'm not one to move in. I'm a scavenger of the sea. Are you wondering how to get more steel? Well, I have steel. But, you're going to have to give me some valuables in return, trade. I will take your medicine. Well, that is obnoxiously expensive. So, she will sell me steel, but she wants... She basically wants glass or steel, so she, she wants glass. A building over there. Okay, we've got an island over there, an island over there, and then a building over there in the distance. I don't really like that angle where it, like, moves around. I think they'll mess with people with, um, simulation sickness. Like, this part's fine because, like, I have total control of the character. Um, for those who don't know, like, simulation sickness, anytime that the camera is moving in a manner that the player does not control... That is usually not a good time. 
Um, and that thing kind of like does the thing where it spins around. All right. Feels going. Nope. Yeah, I know quite a few people who um who deal with simulation sickness and that that particular is like, ooh, don't do that. Give me the brick. Give me the glass. Give me the metal. Don't light my stuff on fire. Oh, we don't have water. Um. They've upgraded Ray, its efficiency. Just drown all of my sorrows. Why is everyone such a downer? Oh good, we get to get more poop. Yay. Okay. I want the medicine. Ooh, the. Okay, so the value of medicine changes and all that. The price of medicine went down. And also, the amount that they have went down. Broken leg isn't enough. Now I have to be freezing too. Okay, everybody. Don't fight all of it at once. But maybe there's a medicine for whoever can get here fastest. You gonna be it's gonna be you purple? Are you gonna do it? You gonna do it, purple? Are you gonna be the one to get the medicine? Or are you gonna be too late? Who's going to be the one to get the medicine? Could we green up here? I think neither of them are going to do it. I'm going to have to like, figure out some way to do it. I'm famished. Do you have... Nope. So I'm struggling to keep up with their needs. Not super surprising. Um, it does seem like I need a research to be able to go. I think I need the mattress. Um, okay, so we got the lighthouse range going. Yeah, the mattress. Research healthcare to unlock it. Shelter. Mealworms. Underwater exploration. So that's clearly not it. Healthcare. So I need to first unlock the bar. And the problem I'm running into is because people are hungry, the speed at which I am putting the fish on here. They're getting scooped up for other things. Let's go ahead and get our net down. Wondering how long the demo goes for. So we can scan doubles the chance of getting meals, water, or glass from collecting floating crates. Um, learn how to grow wheat. Shelter upgrade by learning how to install lightning rods. It allows shelters to be upgraded to prevent fires. You cost iron ore. You do not have sitting around. Meals no longer require water. That should cut back in our water use a bit.
Let's say we're still struggling on the seed front. Grab that house and move it over. Man, I'm definitely digging this game. I'm not sure how much longer we'll end up playing it, but um, it's cool. Like it's it's kind of like a different twist on Raft. I'm currently starting to actively starve. Still the medicine. My my assumption with the medicine is I can't do anything until they get the Medicare stuff. Which means she's basically oh, out of commission. Alright, so we got water conservation, so we use less water. They're doing anything that'll make it so our our crops are less water hungry. Sure. Welcome. I don't remember what I'm saving up for. But I'm saving up something. They put it off. I didn't realize you get the charcoal this fast. Is research. We'll check it out. Research was the comfort homes. Yes. Yeah. So it looks like you still got one or two other things you can lock over here. Oh, I interrupted the other research. Doctor Squid is arriving. Oh, town in the middle of the ocean. That's sick. Speaking of which, if you need people, uh, and or treatment, I have just the right thing. Except this broken radio that I found. I can't treat anything. Um, I might sell it to you if you're trustworthy. So, like, if you're actually willing to offer to, um, to trade with anybody, like, if you've got medicine... You've got, you've got like, like I've got the medicine. I just can't treat people. I also don't still know what your icon is trying to tell me. Like, I think it's trying to tell me you don't have a home. I'm not super sure about that. Yeah, they had the herbs which I used to make medicine. The problem is apparently I need the mattress to actually put the medicine to any kind of use, and I don't have the ability to make the mattress. I've got to unlock healthcare. Um. Yeah, so we got ourselves more housing. Yeah, so it shouldn't be any on homeless now. The reason we shouldn't have any homeless now is I've gone and made it so all our homes have an extra place to sleep. They're just kind of shoving them all over here. Don't run away, box. I'll have to check to see what other islands I can expand to. Like, I'm doing amazingly on the front of, uh, wood. So the, is the issue is the person who should be working this is, I think, one of the injured ones. Um, so I'm just going to assign to someone who isn't injured. Can't do much else about it, but I need that fish coming in. Ah. Uh.
Ever since my farm was wrecked in, by the crash, I've had to adapt. Um, it is what it is. I've got food, but I lack everything else. If you help me, I'll share how to grow thing, better stuff. Um, I see you have farms. What do you need to grow? In? Wow, lettuce, awesome. Cool, so we actually like that we're already growing stuff. Um, alright. So we got a bunch of just random junk that we could trade. A golden retriever. Pet does wonders to raise hope of the settlement. Never thought we'd have the luxury of having a companion out here again. I want the dog. Oh, you require 50% friendship. Well... You suck, man. Turned out way faster than I meant to. Okay, so there's somewhere over here I could upgrade something with a cookbook. No, that was a flower. Maybe it's like a spruce fail. Yeah, we can research sugar cane and wheat. So they could upgrade with the seeds. Okay, just casual leg breaking. Cool. Yep, we use the recipe book to uh make so the problem is like please tell me you didn't also Oh you're sleeping. Of course you're sleeping. Oh, good. That's where the cooked fish has been going. I've been sitting here the whole time being like, these trolls are stealing all my fish. Alright, well with that I got one more thing and then we can make a, uh, a bar. The ones that make the bar will be in good shape for at least one more thing. Um, pretty soon I'm going to have to make some food happen or my character's going to die. Okay, research bars. That's good, because we're almost at the point of being able to do healthcare. Oh wait, bars. Cool. Just eat a whole lot of that. I'd love to take these people, but I can't do any of it. Eat through grilled fish. I had to uh, use those for research. Like I ate um, I ate a whole bunch of the cabbage that's been sitting around. Did I research this yet? No, I have not. Okay, so we've got our bars.
See if we can't run over here. I need eight and eight. So I need more glass. But if we get glass, we can run over there and probably do something with it. Do you lack sand? You're probably injured. No, you're just using work. They probably just don't have enough sand being brought in. It's a classic with everything. We've got a whole bunch of people who are injured not doing stuff and all that going on. They're trying to solve their problem. They're not quite getting there. Okay. So you need a medicine. You just need two iron ore. I'd probably make that happen. Okay. Everyone's slipping around. Yeah, so the thing is happening is because we have so many people like this who they're hauling stuff but they're moving so slowly it's like throwing off the entire production line because like if she goes to grab water no one else will so it just kind of hangs everything there that then the water doesn't happen for a long time so we need to research herbs We'll have herbs here, sugar cane. Put a bunch of wood in there. There's a whole bunch of them now scattering to grab it for I don't know what. It's fine. They're having a good time. It sounds like they're sad, but really that's the sound of happiness. They're just really not good at expressing themselves. That's all. It's it's understandable. Um, so let's do the distillery. I need more leaves. <laughs> it's a lovely place, huh? The way, like, half the people are injured, and a whole bunch of other ones are just miserable, and they sleep on rocks. Why wouldn't anyone want to be here? I know people are thirsty. I, I need leaves. Flowers give me herbs. I make berries that's blocked off this whole area, so now I have to go around. It's probably not a good move on my part, but it's what I did. Um, and we will keep you on lettuce. All right. So I still need leaves. Yeah, 
Yeah, but like the immediate issue is just making those leaves happen. Um, like we're getting a ridiculous amount of wood from the boxes, which is nice. But it does seem like leaves are the bottleneck. Stop it. Alright, um... So we've got another platform built. Look over this way and see if we can get something else useful. By the next spot to try building. I'm assuming at some point I'll be able Stupid to grow. Drops. Get in my mouth. I'm saying I'm assuming at some point we'll be able to grow something here that just straight up gives us things. Like that'll make our lives easier. There's a couple of these. Okay, so this is a huge expansion over here. This is good because I've had a ridiculous amount of wood for a while. I was like, what am I supposed to do with all this? Too bad the palm trees can't be harvested. I suspect we'll get something like later on I'll be able to get like palm trees that I can harvest or something. Like maybe not an efficient way of getting leaves, but a renewable way of getting leaves. Expand the farm to the southwest. I'd see moving it. Like the big things I need to get are injured people fixed. Because it seems like the injured people can't do like hey the actual jobs they can just move stuff. Um, so that's a problem. Okay, what is the what is your deal? Is real. Okay, so the thirsty people don't seem to die. They seem to like be heavily penalized in their ability to work. The thirst is real. Alright, what I'll probably need to do, like, I probably will not go through all, like, the time to do it on a, uh, on a demo. But it'd probably be one of those things to rearrange the stuff such that, like, I have all my farm in one area, and then next to that is the area, like, I would cook or prep the food, and then where I'm next to cooking and prep the food, I'd do the next thing in the process. Um, because right now they gotta walk over here, grab something, run it the whole way back, which is definitely not gonna be efficient. Yeah, so the problem right now is just the whole, I need more water, and unfortunately until I get more leaves, um, I can't build another water collection thing. So doing what I can, but until I get the resources, I can't do much about it. Because leaves seem to be the only one I can't really get, because I can grow wood, um, I can pull ingots out of the water, Believes themselves the only thing I seem to not be able to just make happen by myself. Um, and I still do have a little bit of steel. Okay, 
so you got that spot there to make the bridge wider. I could go for a nice cold one. Alright, and research. Oh, I need to grab it out of the bin here. Alright, we are researching healthcare. It also looks like you need to make another water pump. There's some leaves way over there. Um, you have no assignment, so get to it. The thirst is Do I need one more? I probably need one more. Oh no, I don't. Okay. So that up our water production. I'm so thirsty. Do we actually get our flowers? I need to go here and add herbs. Drop the fish off. I'm so thirsty. All right, and pretty soon we'll uh. Yay, healthcare! Can I make the bed? Feathers. Where the heck do I get feathers from? I mean, obviously birds, but in practice, where do I get from? From you. Yes, it will take a stack of feathers. Uh, how about some raw meat that I'm probably not even going to use? And some brick and some glass. You don't actually need that much. Done and done. Need lettuce for a bed? Gotta be honest. Didn't expect that one. Go for a nice cold one. The one thing I'm not sure how I feel about is it does look like I need a separate cooking cooking bench or whatever for each and every item. And that you assign a person to each cooking bench kind of thing. Um, it feels weird that I have to, like, literally assign it to, like, a one-to-one -one relationship. Like, it couldn't... Like, if I just left it unassigned, would people wander up and then sometimes do it? Or is it just... That's not even a realistic thing in the game. All right, so that requires water. That's lovely. But in theory, that should give us medicine and give us the herbs. And with all of that, I should be able to start treating people's injuries. I'm so thirsty. All right, since you're not working, I'll work it. I 
We have settlers who are hungry, settlers are unhappy, settlers are thirsty. They're complaining about not eating at a table. Which is, you know, something you absolutely expect from a game like this is just never to be permitted to that. So I'm hoping if I sit here and work this, it does look like they're carrying the salt water away almost as fast as I'm pulling it up to have it processed into drinkable water. Uh, so maybe we'll get lucky and that'll be enough to get some of those people who are all thirsty to not be nearly as thirsty. And then from there, maybe we can make a dining table. That'd be one less thing making people upset. I hate it here. Okay. So you are outputting Outputting curbs. Are those getting taken over here? Is that what's going on? Alright. There, so you're making medicine now. Yep, so we got another person joining. Which is going to exacerbate a lot of our problems, but I'm also noticing that we're basically short on people doing work. So we're just trying to make it work. Okay. We have eggs. Nothing I want. Let's just overkill this. see what's happening they're using the raw fish to upgrade the bird houses okay well not upgrade but like give more fuel to the bird houses so I need to have more throughput on the raw fish I see what's happening but my solution is gonna be what if hear me out We had even more people scooping. Alright, what were we missing for the bar? Bar. Gotcha, I needed glass and wood and I didn't have enough glass. The glass looks fine there. You don't have sand. Right, and that's because Katie is in. Yeah, so that's the thing, is it looks like I just absolutely have to have the stuff set up to deal with injuries, otherwise gradually your entire place grinds to a halt as people get injured, they can't work anymore. I also just realized I have an absolutely ridiculous amount of sand in my inventory. So I take two seconds and I dump it all in here, they'll take care of it. I don't need to dig up more. Okay. I'd kill for some food right now. Oh, stop whining about food. They're already dealing with enough problems.
Okay. Actually starting to put water inside the water storage. Is a momentous occasion. And we have our first person see receiving actual medical treatment. It's gotten fixed. Tangible progress. Hey, thanks so much for the follow. Um, I do apologize if the alert didn't show. Um, I've been having problems with Streamlabs today. But uh, I do really appreciate it. Um, I am doing anonymous follows right now. I've uh, been trying to move that direction. So... If you want your name called out, I can. Otherwise, I will, uh, I'll keep it private for you. Just kind of, you know, some people prefer to, uh, to enjoy the content, not be part of the I content. I could go for a nice cold one. Yeah. Yeah, so this game's been pretty interesting. It is the thing that, like, it definitely feels like, you know, there are some pain points in regards to where... I kind of felt like it told me to go in two different directions um, and then people got injured and I was doing absolutely nothing to deal with that problem. Until I realized like a whole bunch of my production was grinding to a halt. Why does this hurt so badly? Ugh. Maybe because it's an untreated injury that's gone on for a long time. I mean, that, that's my guess of why I hurt so badly. Okay. So, it's looking like we are starting to get some water put into storage. Um, we still have a really large number of people who are thirsty, but we are slowly fixing that need. Um, we still have a lot of hungry people, which hopefully building that second uh, place to get fish from is going to get us the fish throughput so we can keep making teriyaki. Uh, that should help a great deal. Let's see which trader it was that even showed up. Scientist. Let's actually see what the scientist even carries. I'm not interested in coming aboard, but I salvaged some tech from an abandoned lab not far from here. You may be interested in the blueprints I found. That is, if you can afford them. Um, you have a fishing rod. Relics from an abandoned lab that potentially contain the schematics of unknown new technologies. The scorch marks make it hard to read. Um... I don't have enough on me to make it happen. I also kind of wish if you didn't have enough, it wouldn't just dismiss them like that. You get an opportunity to like, run back and grab some more stuff and come back. Okay. I'm so thirsty. All right, so we're still waiting on the steel and all that. Someone get a bowl. This water isn't going to catch itself. That's depressing. So what the person was saying is they were crying. And they're basically being like, you know, yo, we shouldn't waste this water I'm leaking out of my face. It's like, oh. Someone get a bowl. This water isn't going to catch itself. Alright. They're making progress on their glass here. Which I'm using to upgrade this. Yeah, because they keep trying to fill their needs is the thing Someone that's getting. Someone get a bowl. This water isn't going to catch itself. 
because they keep trying to fix their needs and there's not enough water to go around, it's kind of hurting our ability to produce water. It does kind of make me wish there was a, um, for the water here, that there was a way to try and get some of the people settled and all that. I don't care about the blacksmith right now. I gotta get this dehydration in order. Like, I feel like the two pumps and four places boiling water is enough if I can get them to stop being thirsty long enough. Like, I, I have to play catch up. I'm assuming them drinking one water isn't going to fix it. I can't help you with the food thing right now. One disaster at a time. And I know you're not eating with a table. I, I assume you'll soon murder all of us or something. Like RimWorld style. Hey, we got another medicine. Right, that pump is full. I keep the other one up. I'm just basically trying to uh, keep the water moving. Because I feel like if I can get ahead in the water, it's going to start making other things come together. Thursday's real. Okay, so we've got a few less thirsty people. I also have no idea how many sellers I even have anymore. I still, I am so amused that one of the things they get upset about is just the fact that they ate without a table. Like, such a troll thing that got added with RimWorld and now half of the games do it. Well, I was actually hoping it would give me glass. If we get five glass, I can upgrade that one all the way over there and get a little bit more throughput on the water. Alright, we're down to seven thirsty from ten. Actually, I think it was at 11. Six. We're definitely gaining ground. Yeah, more of them getting hungry, but like I said, one one disaster at a time. If I can get the water under control, um, I think all I need to do to get the fish under control is maybe make another diving hut. Because they're using the fish to uh, get more seed. I'm so hungry I could eat a seagull. Five. They're moving stuff fast enough, I can't even, like, fill this thing up. They've got, like, a pretty coordinated pace of moving stuff back and forth. Oh, 
Ah, they're using Starved. a bunch of water for the medicine, aren't they? I see. So medicine's very costly from a water perspective. That's good to know. Okay, so they're working on it. Where did my bag go? There we go. All right. Is there a way I can this tell you to fun at all. stop putting this on here? Need to get food happening. The problem is we're taking away music to make food and they're putting into stuff to grow stuff, which is, you know, arguably good. But um the issue we have really going on with that is it's unfortunately getting used up for things other than making food. Alright, I got three leaves. Punch glass. Yeah, so it's one water and all that lack input. We do have our injured people getting treated now, which is good. I'd kill for some food right now. Right, we'll try and help with the fish cause. Okay. I do think pretty soon we might switch up the games. I have been enjoying this game. Like I said, it does seem like it's pretty easy to get yourself into a bad place in the game without a whole lot of feedback telling you what's going on. Like, it does tell you, like, oh, these people are thirsty and hungry. I mean, that's straightforward, but a lot of that I started running into because I had injured people that weren't getting taken care of. Um, but I don't think that's, like, the end of the world or anything. I can believe this is an early demo and all that. But I'm having fun. I like the idea of this game. Like I do I do think when this game is um farther along I might pick it up. But I don't think this is a release game. I could be wrong. But I've had a pretty good time with it. Like it's it's that whole kind of weird it's sort of raft, but it's sort of a settlement builder kind of thing. Um that like going on. I also like it that like sure the NPCs don't get really care about their name, but they actually bothered to make them individuals and all that. Dirt. What? Dirt. Oh yeah. Two was like Dirk, which is the name of the only NPCs here. Um, I could go for a nice yeah, so it does seem like there's a little bit of figuring out. Like, one of the things I, some of the things I need to do is like probably reposition this um, to be like you know, basically have like a dedicated water space. Like maybe have like all the pots and the things like that in rows of the storage on the bottom to minimize the movement time. Uh, probably do similar with the food. Right right now, the only food I have is the fish. I don't think I can cook some else. I do kind of wish I could do like um, RimWorld where you could set up a queue. Did you water I did not. Um, I do wish I could set up like a queue of some kind. Be like, okay, instead of having this is what this table does, like this table has like two or three recipes like you can do. Children. I think it's fine either. Like, maybe it's those things that like could get more people and it won't be as annoying. But right now it's kind of weird to have to build all these separate things. I don't, know, I don't think it's like a big, big deal or anything. It's clear that they intend you on making this a giant place. Oh, 
Okay, so I do have to make the boat to reach that island. That's kind of cool. And if you hadn't noticed, it does seem like the game is very generous on certain materials and not others. Okay. So let's figure out what we're going to be doing next on the queue. Let's also check what time it is. Yeah, we're good. Let me see what uh, we're going to do next on the queue. Because I have been having fun with this, but it does seem like I'm in this pattern of where I have to like just sit here and kind of grind out getting everyone um, back on track with thirst and all that, which is fine. But this is a demo, um, and I think that the bottleneck for the demo is going to be the research. And if we look here, I'm just a couple ticks away from being locked out research. I can get the underwater exploration, which you gotta get from the scientists, a worm grower to do chickens, a fire extinguisher, like that's just to deal with lightning. Yeah, so it looks like I can make bread and I can do animals and then the demo's done. Okay. Which isn't bad. I mean, it's a demo. That's about what you expect. Um, so let's see what we've got next on the list. Uh, we had people link the last starship, which is something similar to RimWorld's, um, RimWorld's What's the Blank? I'm trying to remember the name. Um, Save Our Ship 2. Um, there's that one. We also have, there was a game called Lakeside I saw. I might give Lakeside a go. This is supposed to be a chill, like, you build, like, a, um, you build a house on, like, a little, a little island kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna probably give that a go. That one might be one we don't play for a huge amount of time. It's gonna probably be a peaceful one, like, super chill. Um, so I do think it'll be one of those ones that we kind of, like, play for a little while, get a feel for it, see how good it is, and then move on because it's kind of like just to demo it. So bear with me, because I'm going to go ahead and hide the screen here for a moment um, while I close this. I am going to go ahead and save because I can. Cool. Close that, get rid of that. I'm going to mute my system sound for a minute. And I'm going to bring up Lakeside and adjust all its sound things real fast, and then we'll get over to doing the lakeside stuff. And thank you everyone who's been hanging out. I do know that um, this is not the usual content. Well, I mean, I guess it is going to the usual content. But, um... Alright, so let's... Go here to volume mixer, lakeside, use the correct audio device. Oh yeah, you loud. You super loud. There we go. Bring that down a little bit more. Okay. 